So in a previous video, we set up an SMB server running here on our Ubuntu server, and we set up a share, and we called that share as uh, we shared the folder SMB data. We called the shared data. So I'm going to make sure I get into the right screen here. LS dash LA forward slash SM SMB data, and that's going to show me we have this an empty folder here. Okay, now I want to connect to this, but I want to switch and do this as a different user. So I'm going to do control alt F2 and I'm going to log in as user A Smith. Okay, and I want to switch this to my bash shell. So I'm going to type bash and there, I just like that shell a little bit better. Okay, now I've got the SMB client already installed here. So I want to start by displaying what's shared on my SMB client. So uh, just a reminder, uh, if you didn't catch the first video, it's the software package is SMB client. So it's sudo apt install SMB client. If you need the software, I already have that installed, so I'm not going to worry about that. So I want to display it. So it's SMB client dash capital L and then I'm going to put the server name that I want to view, and I'm just going to view my local host. And I'm need my to put in my Samba password that I created in the previous video. And we're going to see two shares here. So we have the data share. That's the one I just created. That's my SMB folder. And we have IPC share, which is a default from our Samba server. Okay, I want to connect to my data share, and I want to do some work there. So here's how I would do it. It's going to be SMB client. And then I'm going to do forward slash forward slash localhost forward slash data. So that's saying connect me to this server name. So back or forward slash forward slash localhost, that server name forward slash data is the share name. So say I want to connect. And I'm going to put in my password because I'm using user level authentication. And here I am. So I'm going to LS and we're going to see just what we saw before, right? There's no data here. So I am going to create a file. I'm in a nano and let's call this test.txt. Ah, yes, I don't have a nano command. I actually have limited commands here. So I'm going to do my question mark, which will show me all of my commands. And here you'll see all of my commands that I actually have access to. So for the moment, here's what I'm going to do. I am just going to uh, create a folder here, mkdir test, and then ls. And we'll now see that we have that test folder. OK, cool. So I'm going to do control alt F1 to go back here. And this is my primary account. And to see that we've actually done this, by the way, notice I didn't point this out, but my prompt has changed now because I'm on the root of my SMB share. So if I want to exit out of that, it's exit and that takes me back here. So control alt F1. And I am going to LS dash L actually, let me just hit my up arrow. And there we can see the test folder that was created when by our other session connected to the Samba share. So there we go. We have a Sam Samba server up and running, and we have connected to it from a Samba client.